Okay, welcome everybody. We've got some European action this week from week three. Uh, this is a heavyweight clash between Rodrigo Crespo Miguel, who's on the bottom of the screen, Rodrigo CM94, and Felix Stenitzer at the top of the screen, uh, Felschter 35. And I believe we've got Standard first up. Both these players were very high ranking Division 1 players from last season who, who transitioned across to the European League. Uh, Felschter, uh, Felix is from Austria. Rodrigo, I'm not really sure. I'm going to guess and say Portugal, but uh, I, I don't take my word for that. The player's just resolving mulligans now. Uh, R Rodrigo will play first. Okay, we just re resolved a bit of confusion. They weren't sure I was here, but we're set to go now. Well, this could be interesting. Blue black against black. Blue black zombies has. Well, that we're not on blue black zombies here. This is some sort of a Grixis build against a black white. We might have two unique decks this week for standard. Of course, we, we, as, as Felix cycles a cast out, we just had a couple of Grand Prix. Minneapolis was standard, and there's a few different decks there. So we might see something a bit different this week. Again, Rodrigo with the fourth land and a pass. Okay, here's a basically a duress on the Doomfall from Felix. The Doomfall is a dual card where, uh, oh, and then a gate, so he, Rodrigo doesn't want to reveal his hand here. Doomfall is a dual card where the, the other side of it is the, the opponent chooses one of their own creatures to exile. Very good on, on a low creature board. A couple of, both just missing land drops there before Rodrigo plays the Glimmer. Starting to look like Rodrigo now on some sort of a Grixis control deck. The Bolus, Nicole Bolus build perhaps. And here's a Kalita, so Felix probably looks like he's on the popular zombie deck from the weekend with some sort of a white splash. See if Rodrigo's got a Harness Lightning here. Yeah. as Kalidus goes down. So if Rodrigo is on the Grixis control build that with Bolus, then he's, I think it's seven mana or eight mana for Bolus. So what, once he can resolve that, it's pretty much game over. Felix, of course, with no blue mana. We, we did see the doom fall. Uh, could let me just bring that up again. It's uh, it's any non-land card, so it, he can get a bolus with that. And here's a Kalidus of his own. He's only got the one black source, so he has to use the Ether Hub energy. Seven cards in Felix's hand. He will grasp here. There, there is a I don't oh and a negate to protect the Kalidus. I don't know if you can see this viewing at home, but there is a lot of bouncing around between, um, in a second grasp, between the, there's a lot of bouncing around between the phases. This is usually a problem. See, it just does it now. 
this is a problem connection problem particularly when say Americans play on DE and vice versa when Europeans play on Ruga I, be I believe it's not actually skipping the steps so none of these players are, actually, are missing their turns and here's a second doomfall so he's Rodrigo's used two negates already so we'll see if he's got a third counter spell oh he's going to get Hulk okay Rodrigo very keen to protect his hand here Is the gear hooks gonna get in? Uh, Gonti's very good against control decks, so we'll, we'll see if there's a response here. There is. It's an essence scatter. And Felix now is starting to drop behind because he's been missing quite a number of land drops. There's a Gehulk starting to get in down to 10, so it's a two turn clock. And again, nothing. Misses a land drop again. Rodrigo will cycle of his sweltering sons. Okay, in, in response is a cast out on the gear hulk, but Rodrigo does have the disallow, so Rodrigo is the one with all the answers here, and he's going to untap with Felix tap down, swing and put him to five, so this one looks like it's over. We could be going to a game two quite quickly. Interesting, the main phase glimmer. Possibly just either has a negate or looking for a negate just to shore out this match. So we haven't seen many removal spells from Rodrigo, so you'd, you'd imagine he has them in his hand still. Just the one harness lightning so far. So what can Felix do? He's down to five. Rodrigo does have Disobey Armana available. Uh, here's an answer. So we'll see if the counter spells there. If it, if it is, we're going to game two. It's not. So Felix survives with the never return. The aftermath is uh, exile. Just exile a target card from a graveyard. Dynavolt Tower does not have the energy at the moment. It needs five. <coughs> Well, a strange play there from Felix, showing an open Exilus and then not casting. I, he, he's yeah, he, he's worried about the the wandering fumarole. So he's obviously got a removal spell for the fumarole. Because the, any spell from Rodrigo is going to give him energy from the tower and enable him to do the three damage. So he has to remove this wandering fumarole. And he doesn't. Uh, he, he does. He's got a blessed alliance. That will work. That'll, that'll enable him to gain four life as well. Well... Rodrigo just fatal pushes his, his own card there. Uh, Felix still gets the nine points, so I'm guessing he just did that to get the Dynavolt Tower energy activation. With no land, with no man lands in play, uh, Felix can safely resolve this Ob Nexilis. He's going to take a one point hit each time he activates it.
and here's a Sorin. So if, if this match resolves, I'm sorry, if this card resolves, which it does, Felix is starting to recover quite nicely here. Ob Nixilis is quietly building towards an ultimate. Of course, the Dynavolt Tower can peg him down three points quite quickly. Oh, he's just going to buy some life with Sauron. That's an interesting call. He's going to give the Sauron up. And Felix concedes with the Gearhulk. Hulk. 